Hi guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty and today I'm here to share with you my Birch Box and Ipsy for November. I know, late, it's late. Also, my background's changed once and again, once again. And I did do a vlog about it. I don't know if it's going up before this or after this. If it's going up before this, it'll be down below. If it's going up after, make sure to subscribe so that you guys will see what's going on with the beauty room. Let's start with Ipsy. First of all, the bag is this super duper awesome glittery bag. The theme is girl meets glitter and it says life is short, wear glitter. So there's a super cute glittery bag. It's of awesome quality. It's actually by Forever 21 and I love it. I'm gonna use this in my purse because I love this shimmery glittery. And it's not like loose glitters, it's actually got like a plastic on the outside and the glitter's underneath so it's not like glitter's gonna fall out into your purse which that would suck because I have had a glitter makeup bag and it made a mess of my bag. First things first is the Marc Anthony Oil of Morocco Argan Oil Volume and Shine Extra Hold Hairspray. The reason why this is my least favorite is because I don't use hairspray or hair gel or any of that. The next item is this guy right here. It is the J Cat Wonder Lip Paint and it is in a really, really pretty like pinky purple sh shade and the reason why I'm shaking it is because the last time I swatched this it was incredibly watery and it was like oily and it was weird and turns out um, the oils had separated from the rest of the product so when you first poured it out is really crazy it is pretty thick once you shake it up if you don't shake it up it comes out really watery okay next is Elizabeth Mott you're so fine waterproof liquid liner in glitterati and this is a beautiful black eyeliner with glitter in it. It's actually a really deep dark black and it is waterproof which I love waterproof eyeliner and the glitters are so fine that you almost can't really tell that they're in there and so you could wear this during the day and it wouldn't be like ba-bam like crazy glitter on your face. The next item that I'm excited to try out is the Laura Mercier Universal Invisible Loose Setting Powder. I don't have it open, it's got the little covering over it, but it does look matte and it looks very much like the Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder. That actually has shimmers in it. This one I don't believe does, which is nice. It's always nice to have a matte setting powder, especially for photography. You don't want that flashback. Is this guy? It's Be a Bombshell Cosmetics. This is an eyeshadow base in the color Submissive, and I believe this is a full size. And it's a very sheer color, but it's incredibly creamy and it's really beautiful like I really like this color in the jar it looks like it would be similar to bad to the bronze but it's essentially like a very sheer version of that Maybelline color tattoo and then the number one product in the bag is this guy it is a Laura Mercier a mini fan powder brush I don't have one I actually put a highlighter on with this brush right before refilming and I am in love with it because I don't have a fan brush and I've wanted to get a fan brush and I'm so excited to have one even if it is in a mini size. So this is my favorite product of Ipsy this month. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot on over to Birchbox. Okay, so Birchbox is actually the month of giving because this was for November. It did come with a little booklet which was kind of like a catalog of the things that they have that are great gift ideas. I ended up throwing it out because I didn't really need it. It was just kind of like advertisement. But then it also did come with the card with the products. There are five products and an extra. I'll show you the extra first because I already ate it. It was this potato chip choco pot. It was essentially like crushed up ch potato chips mixed in with chocolate, turned into a chocolate bar in the shape of a potato chip and it tasted like milk chocolate with sea salt and potato chips and it was actually incredibly delicious. If you've ever had chocolate covered potato chips, this is exactly what it tasted like except more chocolate and less chip. But it was so delicious, I already ate it. And I ate it after I had filmed the first time so I didn't realize I was gonna have to like film it again, otherwise I wouldn't have eaten it. The first thing was the Catherine Melandrino perfumes they're both sample sizes they're the exact same one I don't know why I got two samples but I'm not a huge fan of it it's very florally it's supposed to smell fruity but all I smell is like flowers and I don't like floral perfumes so 
we've got two of these so those are going in the trash sorry birch box the next item is this amica nourishing hair mask in sea buckthorn berry it smells really delicious and i'm actually excited to try this out because i do like using hair masks so this actually isn't a bad product this one should be good i assume it smells good at least the next item actually reminds me of Oil of Olay, which is a drugstore product that my mom used growing when I was growing up. She doesn't use it anymore, but I, anytime I smell it, it reminds me of her. And this smells just like that. And this is the Essilor Firming Collagen Day Cream. Then the next item is could be a hit and miss. It's Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel for sensitive skin, and it's an exfoliant. The last three products I used from Juice Beauty actually like broke me out, which is really sad and it caused a lot of irritation. And I think they were for sensitive products as well. I don't know what it is, but like the, the formula they use just does not go well with my skin. And a lot of their stuff is made for sensitive skin, which totally blows my mind. So it seems like a really promising product because I really love facial exfoliants and I definitely want to try this out, but we'll see because I don't know if this will work or not. And then the last product and the one product that I'm pretty excited about from Birchbox is the Cindy Luminizer and this is a highlighter, shimmer, and shadow and it's just a small little sample and it's really cute. It's 0.57 grams and 0.02 ounces and it's really pretty. It actually looks like a really pink shimmery shade. I tried it as a highlight earlier. I think it's too pink for me as a highlight but it's definitely a great eyeshadow color and if you're more cool toned or fair skin, I think this would definitely work as a great highlighter for you. That is it for Birchbox and Ipsy. I am definitely like 10 times more excited about Ipsy than I am about Birchbox. I really like the products I got minus the hairspray, but in general, I still like Birchbox a lot, which is why I continue to get them. And last month they were like a super crazy hit, like it was the best ever and I was so excited about it. But yeah, so that is it. If you guys are unfamiliar, both of these subscriptions are $10 a month, auto-renewing, and they usually come with five or more beauty samples. Sometimes the samples are full size or deluxe sizes. They vary each month. And of course, as usual, I will include the total for both boxes if I haven't already. And yeah. So if you guys enjoyed these comparison videos, of course, make sure to thumbs up. And yeah, and of course, make sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty. Hey guys, it is Thursday evening and it's like, let's see, 10.45 p.m. I am waiting for a video to export before I go to bed. So in the meantime, I am in the beauty room. It's a mess, but I'm going to give you a really quick tour because um, things have changed since uh, I last vlogged and I said how the room is going to be set up. Will it change? And I did mention it in a beauty video, like what my